How do you respond to an open-ended prompt? For example, we read A Dog's Tale by Mark Twain and were given this prompt. How do we respond to this? In this lesson, you will learn to write a response by combining wording from the prompt, your answer, and evidence. Now, we're thinking like detectives to answer this prompt, and here are our steps. Analyze the prompt, find the evidence, judge the evidence, prepare the case, and finalize the case. And we're right here at prepare the case. We're just writing the first sentence in that. A common mistake is not including evidence in the initial response. Here's your scrawny little response without the evidence. And here he is, all beefed up with evidence. So we want to add a little evidence to our first sentence that answers our prompt. Here are our steps for today. First, combine your answer with prompt parts. Second, select evidence to build your case. And third, add evidence as brief supportive details. Okay, number one, combine your answer with prompt parts. Here's what we've got. Our opinion was no. Our answer was no. And the prompt said, the first part of it, the first two sentences said, the narrator, Alexis Jones, says she is just like a member of the family. Do you think the Grays feel the same way about Alexis? So we're going to say no, and then we're going to combine that with prompt parts. So let's give it a try. First, I think we'll say, in my opinion. So they'll know that we're just giving an opinion, in my opinion. And then we're going to combine our, our opinion with the prompt part. The Grays did not feel like Alexis, their dog, was just like a member of the family. And I put their dog in there just so if my if my reader, the person who was reading my answer, if they weren't fam as familiar with the story, they'd know who Alexis was. Okay, now we're going to select some evidence to build your case. In order to do that, we just go back to our T-chart. Oh, there's my barbells. That shows that we're going to build it, build it up and make it stronger. Okay, we get our T-chart and we see that on the right, we see the no the evidence for no and our evidence was chased and hit with cane and sold puppy so that's the evidence we want to combine with the rest of this sentence we've already started all right we're going to add that as evidence and notice it says brief brief supportive details because we're trying to fit this all into one sentence we don't want to make it too long here's what we have so far and we're going to add in just briefly that Alexis was hit and that the puppy was sold. So we'll just add because Mr. Gray hit her and sold her puppy. All right, let's see what that looks like all combined. In my opinion, the Grays did not feel like Alexis, their dog, was just like a member of the family because Mr. Gray hit her and sold her puppy. And you should be able to see that my, my answer or my opinion, prompt parts, and also some evidence. Could this stand alone as the answer? Yes, it could. And that is, that is our goal here. Our goal is that our first sentence in our response is very strong and definitely answers the question or replies to the prompt. And then after this, we're going to just add in more evidence to really make it a lot stronger. Today, we learned how to write our initial response by combining the answer with prompt parts, selecting evidence to build our case, and adding evidence as brief supportive details. In this lesson, you have learned to write a response by combining wording from the prompt, your answer, and evidence.